What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Amanda. Today I decided to combine some new in pieces that I got from Zara, some new in pieces that I got from H&M, which are gonna be great for the summer. Some of them are even kind of transitional pieces to fall, which I'm not ready yet, so let's not go there. But these are some really great staple pieces. I'm really excited to show them to you because I found some things that I love and you know how hard that is to do. So before we get into all those exciting pieces, I'm gonna introduce you guys to the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Please let me know in the comments down below, how many of you following me are content creators? Maybe you are looking to build a skill to transition into a new career. Maybe you wanna learn how to run an Amazon business. Maybe you're an artist who wants to learn how to sell their digital art online. That's exactly why I'm talking about Skillshare today. So for me, I'm a content creator. I've seen a lot of people promoting Skillshare and I have wanted to try it. I just never took the leap and then they reached out to me and it was the perfect opportunity to try it. So if you haven't heard of Skillshare, if you never heard anyone talk about them, they are an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members from 150 different countries sharing their skills. So the reason that I was interested in using Skillshare is I really wanted to improve the quality of my photography, improve the engagement in my content. And so I've been taking some courses by Maggie Stara. She teaches social media marketing for beginners. And there's also some other photography courses that I have saved that I'm interested in as well. So no matter what your passion is or whatever skill you're trying to learn or maybe improve, Skillshare has something for everyone. It's really just an investment in yourself, an investment in your skills. Why not invest in yourself and make a career change or improve the skills that you already have? Make yourself better. That's the whole point of using Skillshare. So the first thousand people that click the link down below will get a free whole month to use the Skillshare platform. Think about it. A whole month of learning a new skill or improving your skills, that's invaluable. So make sure you check them out. The link is down below in the description box. Now let's get into the video. So I'm gonna start by sharing some H&M pieces that I got and actually what I'm wearing, although this is not new in, I believe they have the same set online selling this year. I did get it last year, but this is one of my most worn things in my closet, not just from H&M, but in my closet. I wear this set every summer. It's just a linen short set and a linen, a matching linen shirt. And I'm wearing a bralette underneath that I got from Zara last year. So this one is not available, but you know how Zara is. They always bring those popular items back in. I'm sure they have a bralette or something similar to this that you could find. This outfit is so comfortable. The shorts are a nice, comfortable length. They're not too short. They're flowy. So you're getting comfort and chic all at the same time. This is like one of my go-to things that I always bring with me on vacation. I bring it with me, honestly like anywhere. I know that they sell these items in white also, and I think also in beige. I will leave these linked down below in the description box in the other colors, as long as I can find them and they're still available online. You know, H&M goes in and out of stock just like Zara does. So if I can find all the colors, I'll leave them down below in the description box. And then you guys, I picked up this stunning dress from H&M. This is a new one. I actually shared this on my Instagram stories, so if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go follow me because I share a lot of new in things there too. But this, although I know you're probably looking at this on the hanger and thinking like that is so basic or that is so like uninteresting, but when I tell you the way that this fits and the types of occasions and versatility that you can get out of this dress is there, okay? This is a style that you can wear to so many different occasions. You can be appropriate. You know, it's not too short. It's nice and flowy at the bottom. It brings in your waist because of the tie here. And not only does it tie on this one side, but if you open it up, this is the type of thinking that I need every clothing designer to have when they create garments like this because this is genius. On the inside, you usually just have like one little button where you can button close the other side of the dress, but this actually has three different buttonholes, so you can really adjust the how tight it brings in on the waist and, you know, customize it to your waist size. So I think that is genius. The fabric is pretty lightweight. It's like an olive -y. I'd say this is like a in-between a beige, olive -y kind of color. This is so flattering, so comfortable, long enough to wear. I feel very comfortable wearing this. I would even wear this with sandals to the mall. I'd wear this on any hot day here. Even though it's long sleeve, the fabric feels so lightweight that I don't feel like it would be 
noticeable at all. I got this in a medium and it fits true to size. I would not size up or size down. I think this is perfect. The next dress that I got is also from H&M and the fabric is one of my favorite fabrics that they make. It's like this crinkly cotton material. I'll bring it up close so you guys can see. Um, don't mind my disgusting nails. I haven't gotten them done yet. <laughs> But as if you can see that, it's sort of like a crinkly cotton material. This is stunning. I shared this also on my Instagram stories, so pay attention. What I love about this, number one is the fabric. Number two, it's an asymmetric line right here. So you have one strap on the side. This is just the hanger holder right here. It's not an actual strap. And then you have ruching on the sides and the little ruffle at the bottom is sort of an A-line cut, which I don't know how that worked out, but it made it so flattering. And then the stunner, the showstopper is the back. We have a crisscross back detail right here. So you can really decide how tight you want it to fit up top or how loose you want it to be. And then you have the whole back out. And then the bottom is sort of like a scrunchy, um, stretchy kind of a situation. This is so flattering. I love this dress. This is perfect to wear day or night, honestly, in my opinion, because the fabric is pretty casual. The, the back of it is obviously sexy, so you could definitely dress this up with some heels and wear it on a, on a night out, or you could wear it during the day, maybe on vacation or any hot summer day with some sandals. Um, I think that this is stunning and I'm so glad that I got my hands on this. If it's not already sold out, hopefully it comes back in stock and you guys can get your hands on this too because I love this dress. Oh, and I got this in a size medium, fits true to size, so stick true to size. Now let's get into some of the pieces that I picked up from Zara. I've been eyeing this gorgeous bodysuit for a while now and I don't know, I just feel like sometimes it's nice to have a cute top with to wear with jeans like this. The fit of it is not like too fussy or anything, so you're still like kind of looking cute, hot summer day, cute top with jeans kind of a thing. Um, it's pretty, it comes up pretty high on the sides there. And the deep V, the shoulder is kind of wide. I, I would see myself wearing this with maybe some kind of looser fit. Maybe like boyfriend jeans or something. I think it's really fun to wear a fitted girly top like this with maybe some more a more masculine kind of feel at the bottom. So I could definitely see some boyfriend jeans or something like that with this. But you could also wear it with some fitted jeans. I mean, it's really just up to you and how you like to wear your items. But I think this is so cute and I love the colors on this. It's very playful, kind of girly and fun. I got this bodysuit in a size medium that was the right size to go with. So that's true to size for me. I'm a, I'm a true size medium. And I think that if I would have sized up and gotten a large, it would have been a little too loose up here. Uh, the medium, it's it's quite fitted and, and tight, but it's not like pulling up like a, a bodysuit can do. So I, I think that it's just the right fit. The next thing that I got from Zara is this kind of sheer bodysuit that I've been eyeing for a while. There's no buttons, but it does give you a little bit of a collar up here. And then it has a bow tie in the front. And then the bottom of it is the bodysuit. I love a top like this to wear with a skirt on a night out or something, or maybe even pants on a night out. And it would be really cute with some type of, maybe like a lacy bra, a black lacy bra, or maybe like one of those sparkly bras that Zara sells. That would be a really cute way to wear it too. I got this in a size large. I'm kind of glad that I got it in a large. Um, even though the bottom of it, it could be tighter. I could have gone with a medium, but I don't think I would have gotten that sort of oversized flowy feel as I did with the large. So I'm gonna stick with the large because even though it's like not quite as tight at the bottom that I would like for it to be, it's, it's gonna be covered up anyways. You're gonna be wearing a skirt or something over it, so it doesn't really matter. All right, this next set that I got from Zara is something I've been eyeing on their website for a while, and I really wanted to try this, but I was a little bit on the fence about it because of wondering how it's gonna fit on my body and all of that, but it is this gorgeous two-piece set. This feels like maybe a cotton linen blend type of feel. It's, it's soft, 
but I love the color of it. It's very much like an oatmeal color. The twist in the front is giving Jacquemus, of course. And then if you if you see where the tag is here, it does kind of come off center a little bit, and I, that's on purpose. I saw it styled on the model. It's supposed to be a little off center and not perfectly down the middle. So if that's something that you don't like, then you may not like this, but I like it. Uh, I got this in a medium. It's great. I would stick with the medium, stick true to size. And the great thing about this top though, is it has a zipper on the side that comes all the way down so you can completely open it up and get it over your head and on without messing up your hair or your makeup or anything like that. So Zara, thank you for listening to us. We appreciate that. Next are the trousers that match with that top. <sighs> I got the trousers in a large. They fit. Okay, but they are not fitted around my waist. So I would definitely have to get them altered because it's sort of an awkward fit. And I'm kind of wondering if I should order the medium and compare both sizes uh, because I love these trousers, but also I've noticed whenever I get a large and a wide leg trouser, the bottom portion is always so much wider than it is with the size down and I don't like that. I feel like that's pretty unflattering for my body type so I'm probably going to order a medium and compare sizes but uh, the material is the same. I love the design of this trouser so I'm really I'm really just torn on size honestly. The large is a little bit too big and I'm worried that the medium would be a little bit too small. So I could just get them tailored if I really wanted to. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Skillshare down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.